When uploading an app to the App Store, you need some form of screenshots. Or for example, if you want to upload a design of your app to Instagram or another social media, it can be quite cool to have this seamless design of your app. In this video, I will be creating just that inside of Adobe XD. Feel free to use any other vector-based program, for example Figma. I will also be using an app design from a food delivery app I did in another video. So if you want to follow along the entire process of making the design and then this type of commercial images, feel free to check that video out first. This video will be portioned up into approximately four different sections. The first one is how to place your design inside of a phone mockup. Secondly is how to place an object across different screens. And then we'll just do some simple design. And the last step, we will add text as well as some emojis to it. Other than that, let's get started with this video. You can find phone mockups from different places on the internet. I downloaded mine from a website called Sketch App Sources. Once you have downloaded a mockup, you place your screen inside of this mockup by pressing Command C and Command V inside of the mockup, and then masking it by using Command Shift M or right click and then mask. And you mask this image with the other object called Place Your Screen Here. And now it's time to create your first artboard, and this artboard will be the size of 1080 by 1920 pixels. Then I choose some objects from my design, grouping them together and using the repeat grid function to create a cool pattern. Then I choose a gradient with a transparent side so I can place text on top of it. To be able to have an object lay across different screens, I offset this object from the artboard a bit, then I copy and paste it inside of another artboard, placing it side by side, and then trying to align them exactly, so it looks like they are the same screen. Then I repeat this type of black transparent gradient, and then I add text to it. And to make it look even better, I copy and pasted some emojis from the web and pasted them inside of this app. And that was all. Now you know how to create these cool screenshots for App Store or for just uploading to the internet. That's all for this video, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All the best and bye.